there is an epic disaster unfolding in a very remote region of the north of Colombia. I covered this before. I tried to tell the truth about it. And of course, the powers that be on YouTube have flagged the video. This should tell you all you need to know. Now, I know what you're looking at here doesn't even remotely look like any place you'd recognize. That's the truth of a lot of Colombia and a lot of South America. There are areas that are incredibly remote. Um, Jesse Ventura said it best in the movie Predator, his classic line, this place makes Cambodia look like Kansas, and that is absolutely true. Now, this is the Cauca River, and I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit for you. This is where they're building the dam, or they were trying to build the dam. And I suppose I should probably let go the reasons that this fell apart, that basically the story is it's mismanagement, and it's they didn't know what they were doing, and all these problems, but there's a lot more to it. Nevertheless, the problem is this. Upstream from the river, it's raining like crazy, and they are trying to build as fast as they can. They've gone back in. They initially said it wasn't salvageable, but they're trying to salvage this, but it's not looking pretty. Um, it's looking like they're not going to be able to pull this off. They're trying to build up the level of the dam. The water is discharging through the, uh, the power management room, and it's eroding. There's over 120,000 people that are at risk. Um, just to give you an uh, idea of how big an area this is. This is the area I was just circling around down here and this is the area here that would be affected. It's an incredible amount of water um, beyond anything you could imagine what would happen is if this collapses which it's looking like it's going to because of the rain. I brought up this map. It's not an easy thing to find but here is up here here's Medellin okay and where you were just looking at is directly north up here this is where the dam is now the rain though is coming from down here and you can see what's coming it's going to and it has been raining all through this area and this rain is going to continue to make the water levels climb and eventually that dam is going to give way and when it does the disaster is going to be beyond anything anyone could imagine. I'm going to try to zoom out here. This is actually Google Earth Pro to give you an idea of how remote this is. It is way out in the middle of nowhere directly north of Medellin, Colombia. These areas here and not to really talk about any more with the issue with Venezuela, but it kind of dovetails with it. These areas are very, very hard to control. Regionally you can, but not from, you know, like Washington, D.C. and, you know, America, it's mostly plains, there's mountainous areas, but we have a pretty good control of police forces and military forces. There's no one that could really take control of, say, West Virginia and keep the US from stopping that but here that's not the case you know and even zooming out you can see how unbelievably remote and um, so hard to get big equipment in and to get any amount of people in and here's here's Ituango and here's Brasenio if you're looking for this on the map just go north of Medellin Colombia about uh, 80 100 miles and it's halfway between Ituango and Brasenio and I'm going to say Ituango just because it looks like it. It's Ituango, but who cares? And they'll be you'll, you'll see the river. And you'll see this big 90-degree bend right here. This is where the dam is. And you can zoom in. And when you do zoom in, you'll be able to see some of the scarring, the things that they've done to try to build this dam. It's right here. But like I said, it's uh, there's not a lot of really good imagery to to look at this but there are stories talking about it but with everything else that's going on with the wedding and with the uh, voting in Venezuela and all this kind of stuff it's uh, not looking good it looks like uh, there's another system it looks like this these clouds over here it looks like they're moving 
west. But whichever way you look at this, it's not looking good for upriver of this, which is all through here. This is a big river, the Kauka River. Runs all through here and then feeds out into the ocean out here. And it has been raining down there for a long time. But that's and that's normal for this area. There's nothing going on down here that doesn't normally go on. So this isn't some kind of strange weather system. It's a very common occurrence down there. But this uh this emergency is it's a big deal. Let's see if I can just try to cover a little bit of the detail of it. Um this is what we know. They are discharging the water through the engine room and they are, what is it, four meters short of getting this thing built to the level that it's supposed to be built at. And it's the water is rising faster than they can, they can handle it. And it's not looking like they're probably going to be able to do this based on what they're reporting here. But of course you won't see it reported in the mainstream media at all. It's a uh, terrible thing to see people like this that are barely on the edge of existence anyway, which also kind of feeds into the story that I'm talking about with Venezuela, that this northern part of Colombia has always and classically been, last 30, 40, 50 years, you know, in a lawless region, a area that is run by powerful drug cartels and paramilitaries, and it to hold Venezuela to one standard and you read the stories now and say oh because of this that's why we're going to try to overthrow their government when this has been happening right next door it's it's silly and this is just going to be evidence of it I, you know, I'm not even going to speak anymore about what really caused this if anybody wants to go back to that video it was three or four days ago and I reveal the real reason of the what was going on here and what they've been trying to do. And they are preparing for the worst. The Red Cross is. Um, it's going to be hundreds, tens of thousands, about 120,000 people that are going to be left with nothing. The water is just going to destroy everything. And they're already looking to finger point, but you see, that's kind of the hard thing now. That when they start to finger point, people are going to start to make allegations that aren't going to be pretty. And when people start to look into this stuff, it's going to make people ask the question, well, wait a minute, if this area, if Colombia is this corrupt, and this many people have lost everything, given what we know about Colombia, why in the world are we even worrying about what's going on in Venezuela? I don't... Uh, you know, it's, it's going to eventually go to the top floor with some people. And I hope it's going to be a learning um, event. That people will understand that sometimes we can't just make snap decisions and snap judgments about what we believe about this country's um, political system versus that country's political system. Because in this case, pro-business, pro-capitalist, uh, Colombia has failed miserably. And shortcuts and corruption and bribes have created an epic, epic disaster. And I'm trying to get you the best view I can of this. I was asked to do this update. There's really, I wish I had more information for you guys. I really did. I really do. It's um, something that's, you know, it's a minute by minute. These guys are working their ass off to shore this up and try to get this finished, but the weather is not helping at all. And it's something where I don't think they're going to be able to do it just because the damage is already um, too extensive. It's too severe. And they've already abandoned it once, saying that it was too big of a problem. That they couldn't fix it, and they've been ordered back in. It's It dried up a little bit temporarily, but it's not about the weather in this area. It's about the weather upstream. And as you can see, and I'll go back to this, you know, where we were once again is up here where the uh, arrow is, just north of Medellin. 
And while there, yeah, the weather's fine, but this is where the river's filling up back here. And as you can see, storms blow up just like that in Colombia. That's normal. So, as I get for more, bleh, <laughs> as I get more information, I will let you know. Um, still pray for these people. Pray for the people in Venezuela. All sorts of issues going on right in our backyard that nobody's talking about. Like, share, subscribe.